welcome to Rugby Park. Sorry about the background noise, but the improvements to the pitch are being carried out as we speak, and there's heavy plant going on. But hopefully, the two lads that you see will speak loud enough to drown out that noise. So, we've got Ross Barber and Lee Ashcroft with us today. Uh, if I could start by asking you, Ross, about your return to the team, you must have been pleased to get back into the side and get an assist for a rather critical goal at Easter Road. Yeah, obviously it was a disappointing season. Um, I was at the team for about seven months from last year when I got injured the second last game of the season and then you know, seven games before the end of the season it was disappointed also. I didn't go the way that I wanted but I got back in the team and we managed to stay up with the main thing and decide the new two year deal so looking forward to this season. So you're quite settled in this area then? You're quite settled at the club? Yeah, I'm settled at the club. I couldn't say I wasn't settled at all at the club before. It's just every player wants to play, so that was just my ambition was to be playing somewhere. If it's not here, then out and loan, but it never happened and I managed to get back in the team in the end. And hopefully, we can push on this year. And with obviously Hibs and Hearts and Rangers going to hit the league, we, our aim is top six, and I feel we should get it with the players that have still got the club. Tell us about that wonderful cross. Was uh, was it intended to be scuffed towards Boy's right foot, or was it, or was it actually a, 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 a higher ball into the area? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you're watching, <laughs> no, you're watching. <laughs> if you look at it, there was only Boy in the box, so I just I knew it kind of me, so I just kind of hoped to find them. And once I've all found Boy, they usually around the box, they usually score, so that's what happened. And, I suppose pure strikes are not necessary, just ask Mr Neymar about that. I wasn't the cleanest cross though, but it reached him then, so that was the main thing. Moving on to you, Lee, the beginning of the last season, what were your aspirations and ambitions? Well, I was just going to start the start of the season, I was just, I made, uh, under Kenny Shields, I made three towards the end of the season, so obviously with Alan Johnson coming at the start, it was like, I couldn't impress somebody new again, basically. Uh, but at the start of the season, I was just hoping to ever get get a chance and uh, keep my place in the team but it didn't, it didn't really happen at the start of the season but then I eventually got my chance at Ross County and then from there on I played quite a bit so I, thought I, 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 was, I was very pleased with the amount of games I played during the season and being able to keep my place in the team with the amount of players I had so it was good so, and I, loved, I loved every minute. So. so were you surprised looking back how far you, you came in one season? I definitely because as you said at the start of the season I was on the bench quite a lot but as a as a centre half I had to come on off the bench as a sub so I wasn't really getting a chance in that way but once I got my chance against Ross County we obviously won the game and then for there on I just I just pushed on and tried my best to keep my place in the team and I I've done alright I think to keep my place in the team. So. We had a few different defensive partnerships. Uh, was there a standard language across the back or how did you communicate with one another? Well, it was it was always good because Pascal just speaks good English. It was good to come in. My first game actually I played next to John Tessler, who's a left back. He played centre half that first game with me, so I didn't know what was going to happen. This pass was going to come back in or not, and that's what actually happened. But it was it was great playing next to Pascal, obviously an experienced player. Uh, he helped he helped me through a lot of the games and stuff, the, the early on games especially. Uh, but no, I think it was fine. Of course, it was good to play with the, the experienced player there. I think, I think it helped a lot and when I first started playing. So I'd say a lot of it was down to Pascal helped me out when he was playing at that. So what about Max Emenko? Who was he to play with? Ah, he was good as well. I mean, he wasn't as vocal as Pascal as Pascali. But uh, we'd obviously we'd done a lot. And he's, he'd, been in, he'd been at the club for a good while, so I, I knew him and stuff. And he was, and then he came in that game against Aberdeen and uh, I'd obviously played against I'd obviously played beside him in training and stuff, so uh, no, it was, when, once they came in I felt quite comfortable and then obviously as the games went on, playing, playing a few games we got more comfortable next to each other and then uh, no, it, was, it was good playing next to someone like that and I was actually, he's, he's made an appearance for Brighton as well so he's played in a, a, big, a big game before so and I had a match as well. So if I can take you through the last week, what was the roller coaster of, of emotions like going from Tyne Castle to St Martin to Easter Road? Well, after Tyne Castle, I was here. Yeah, 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 everyone was kind of down, but in a way, it was, I'm kind of glad that it happened because it was kind of a bit odd. So everyone had kind of rolled it off after that as well. The boost we did, and we could be in the playoffs, and it had been written off. And, and then the players kind of came together. After I think we showed good character, we, 
Thank you for staying here. Thank you. He's not going to be fixed figures and all, but we five minutes to go. He kind of flung everything at us, but we held on. And then he was confident getting ahead of Against Hibs, he started well and we kind of get pushed back. But the more the game went on, I didn't think we were ever going to lose. And then after we got the goal, I thought we had the better chances. They, they had a few scrambles and corners and they had the Craig shot off the bar. But that, other than that, I don't think they really created much. And obviously, we could have scored a few other goals. Yeah. Boy, they had a, a header, brilliant save for the, the goalie, and obviously Alex had a few shots, but I thought we were comfortable that game. So what's both your hopes for next season on a personal basis rather than you were saying you were hoping for the top six, what are you both personally hoping to achieve? Well, just hope to get a chance to get a play in. I mean, when the pre-season there's going to be new players there and stuff, new challenges ahead, so you just need to come in, hopefully, pre-season friendlies go well and you do your best and hopefully you can get your place in that team again it's going to be I mean it's going to be it's, it's a new season again so new players and stuff so it's going to be it's going to be hard to get your place in the team again but hopefully you just have a good pre-season good pre-season games and then melt your place in that team again and hopefully just obviously play as many games as you can I think that's probably everyone saying me but the competition will be hard to obviously I've signed Jamie Hamill I don't know who else is going to come in, but there are a few players out of contract that I don't know what's happening with either, but so you don't know who's going to get in the seat's head, so you're going to, the new assistant manager as well, so you're going to start basically from the pre-season to, to try and get your place in there again and show in the pre-season games that you're ready and hopefully you get picked now. Any aspirations for Scotland for either to follow Craig Slate or Rory McKenzie? Well, personally, I thought McVeigh should have been in it recently. Uh, I'm quite shocked that he wasn't, especially the, the two, the two, the two centre backs that got picked. I thought he was playing at a higher level than one of them anyway. Um, although the boys from Celtic, they still played more games at a higher level, so I thought he should have been picked. And I got picked last year for the under 20s, and obviously, yeah, just done my ankle just before I went, which was an honour, obviously, to get picked, but hopefully. You never know what happened, hopefully I could maybe get back in and back. The main thing is the commandment. I'd say the main thing is, is I, I just want to play as many games as I can for command first. Uh, and then if, if, if I do well, maybe, maybe there's a wee chance getting called up with Scotland and stuff, but no, I'm a, but I'm a lie with commandment first. That's, that's the most important thing is, is getting a place back in the commandment team next year and play as many games as I can. And if, if Scotland comes, that's a, that's a bonus. Okay, thanks very much guys, good luck on the season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>